Uh, Raquel and I met uh, during MTV, and um, I was the executive producer of the Video Music Awards, and MTV um, had quite a huge radio and digital as well as news presence. So Raquel and I first met when she was handling a lot of the ancillary talent bookings um, that were going on, you know, on all the uh, all the variety of events around the Video Music Awards. Raquel had a really good um, relationship with a lot of the musicians, a lot of uh, talent from all genres. Um, people gravitated to her, and she also had a very good sense of um, producing and creating good content. So. Uh, Talent really was brought into her, especially on a red carpet situation where you're fighting to get attention. Um, her relationships working on red carpets has really um, been beneficial to a lot of the projects that I've worked on. I've worked quite a bit with younger talent as well as seasoned A talent, and I work a lot on some a variety of YouTube projects. So there's sometimes a underlying um, group of artists that are really coming on the rise from digital and YouTube um, and a variety of uh, digital platforms. And I find that Raquel has a very good sense of, of what's going on in the music space, not just with the top 28 artists that we all know about, but also um, artists that are on the rise. And for a lot of the work I do, being attached to artists on the rise is really important. Um, I think that I have been uh, in the trenches with Raquel and um, very high pressure situations, high stress uh, situations. And I can always count on her to do a really great job. I can always count on her to be where she says she's going to be. Um, I can always count on her to balance um, some of the ridiculous asks with reality. Uh, so, you know, there's a very likable personality about Raquel that she brings with her in any project that she does. Yeah, when you work with Raquel, um, she's a really wonderful collaborator and she basically does what she needs to do to get the job done.